Hi, I'm Wilhelm Lucham, journalist of Car Magazine. About a year ago, this Triton in the double cab 3.2 litre 4x4 configuration joined our long term fleet. And over the past 20,000 kilometres, we've taken it on a few 4x4 trips and even to Namibia. So let's look at the highlights and lowlights of the past year with this double cab bucky. The Triton has always been the alternative bucky to consider in the segment. Obviously before the Triton we had the Colt, which had a very strong following. But the Triton has a lot going for it, and one of the things being its size. Whereas something like the Mazda and Ford has gone really for large buckies, which we can almost call trucks. The Triton is still one of the smaller compact double cab buckies. And that has several positive outcomes, both in traffic and if you get off-road. What has set the Triton apart compared to its competitors is its exterior design. It has certainly been a topic of conversation. This rounded, almost organic design from the front even towards the rear. But for a bucky and in terms of competition, that's not really important. Let's take it for a drive and see how it performs on-road as well as off-road. On the open road, as well as through town, and on my daily commutes, the Triton was really comfortable. It is a bucky, but the ride is actually very well damped. And even better so than some of its main competitors. The nose will dive a bit, especially the front or left or right hand corner. But that's sort of what we've come to expect from the Triton. Um, and even if you hit on a gravel road, if you put it in four high, the ride is actually quite acceptable. I did miss cruise control, that's been fortunately rectified on the new 2.5 litre model because your right foot get a bit tired, especially when I head up to Namibia. In total that was over 4,000 kilometres and again the Triton felt really comfortable on the open road. On the long trips I appreciated the trip computer, it gives you temperature, there's even a barometer, gives you your range, fuel range and also your average consumption. The rear space is also acceptable and even for me at one, almost 1.9 meters, my knees just touch the front seat. No USB socket on this model, but there was a CD player and a radio to keep you company. Also, automatic climate control, which if you into the interior of South Africa really helps to keep the cabin to temperature down. After 20,000 kilometer and one year on our fleet, it wasn't just myself, but also the car team that in general enjoyed the vehicle. Be it taking garden refuge to the dump, or moving house, or even pulling a horse trailer, the Triton did a really good job. Even the dealer experience was good. During 2013, the Triton range was updated and the 3.2 litre engine was replaced by a newer 2.5. And actually the 2.5 is just as spoky and talky as this 3.2 unit. So this means you can't get a 3.2 anymore. Using this as a base, the new Triton will definitely be a good bucky and should be a serious competitor in the segment. But for now, this 3.2 model makes actually a very good second-hand buy.